good evening everyone uh, my name is megha and actually i looks after epc team but today i'm here to present module technology so uh, about navitas navitas is a module manufacturing company we have 200 megawatt of, uh, annual capacity installed in surat and we also do the epc and turnkey uh, projects so i looks after this and then uh, we are group companies of, uh, we have several companies in the power sector, then construction and steel companies. So I'll start with a basic system, solar system. A basic component of the system is module. And the, as we all know, there are several technologies in the modules. I'll just have a brief on them. Uh, first of all, the factors, those affects the module efficiency are like, uh, raw material that we are using for the model manufacturing and then what kind how you are handling your product while manufacturing that that uh, affects a lot then the facility that you have uh, whether it's manual or automatic then testings that you are doing on the raw material in process testings and uh, final testing and skill workmanship so uh, as Sir explained, there are so many technologies available in the market for PV. So more, depending upon the cell manufacturing, there are technology types. So one is mono, the cell manufacturing is different than the poly, that's why it's different. But the efficiency uh, and of course the cost is different. Uh, we can have comparison directly. There are like poly is one of the one of the technology. Thin film is also a technology which is not so common in India. Uh, there are again few types in thin film also uh, depending upon upon the uh, doping of the material so but then in that also the CDT technology is the most common the used technology not in India but uh, other parts of the world then the mainly in mono poly and thin film poly is the major technology that we are using in India and even we are manufacturing. We also manufacture the mono too, but the efficiency, if we consider, the mono has the maximum efficiency, but the cost is high, and I can see um, for Indian temperature, uh, I I'll, will definitely suggest poly because the uh, cost of manufacturing and of course the uh, area required for the uh, installation is, I, can, I can't say is less, but then mono, it is less, Poly is still good. Uh, after the comparison, uh, for India, poly is the good technology that I can say. The advancement in the technology is the, one of them is PRC technology. That is nothing but the next layer to the uh, module cell, I can say, uh, which will increase the efficiency of the module by maybe 1 or 1.2%. Uh, the cell efficiency is increased by 2%. Then uh, this is the market share of the technology. We can see the uh, polycrystalline uh, modules are getting famous nowadays. This is the efficiency graph. As I said, that Mono has the maximum efficiency. Uh, there are several uh, other panels available in the market. One of them is uh, bifacial panels, uh, which can produce energy from both the sides. Uh, there's a different te technology, of course. Then there are BIPV modules. Uh, those are building integrated photovoltaics. Uh, you can use them as your facades or uh, windows with uh, your buildings. Uh, there are flexible panels available in the market. There are transparent panels also, but of course with the different cost and uh, different efficiencies they come. So other raw material if we consider uh, is EVA sheets, back sheets, glass, ribbon. The quality of these material material also matters in the manufacturing of modules. So we should always have a look of look at uh, these products too. Then, uh, like I said, that uh, the manufacturing process also uh, uh, is important for the efficiency of the panel. Like there should not be any manual handling while uh, we are stringing the panel. Then uh, no manual errors should be there, then the environment in which we are manufacturing the metal should be dust free, there should not be any crack in this uh, map panel while laminating even. Then uh, there should be a line which we can upgrade to the scale so that if 
the technology in the market changes like uh, now we can see the four bus bar has been now we are come up with five bus bar systems then quality testing i'll i'll just have a presentation on quality uh, which are the tests those are necessary for the quality uh, make i just last minute please i'll just go through the slide uh, there are several testings like this is the cell tester which uh, while manufacturing the panel will have to first uh, test the material that we are using so uh, each and every raw material is tested into the uh, labs and so I'll, like sir said that evas and back sheets that we are using those should be tested and uh, it should be uh, qualified to the uh, our i can say so i'll just go through the so these are several tests that we do uh, in our facility so that will give okay so these are the uh, few lab tests that we are providing in our uh, uh, facility also so that we'll get the uh, uh, good efficiency from our panels and that should those should be uh, tested in our factory so we have few facilities uh, in our factory with this i i would like to end up my uh, presentation if anyone have any questions uh, that i'm open for that thank you